Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show, another episode of Conjuring in the Kitchen. Today we are going to make mayonnaise. This one's for you, Cousin Eileen, a.k.a. Gwen. Very simple thing to make. I got a modified recipe from a guy called Keith Cooks, K-E-E-F Cooks. Uh, he's a chef in Great Britain. He's got an awesome channel. He's got great recipes. And this is a slightly modified version of his. I got my ingredients and tools we're going to need right here. We're going to need one cup of canola oil, one cup or one egg, farm fresh, one tablespoon of white wine vinegar, one teaspoon of powdered mustard, half a teaspoon of salt. And here we go. Real simple. I'm going to do the best I can. Oh, and as far as tools, there's a tablespoon, a teaspoon, and a stick blender. That's what he called it anyway. It's got a highly technical name. And this came with it. This is what we use for mixing. All right, we're going to start things off. And if I had three hands, I'd keep the camera running, but I don't. So this is what you got. All right, in there we have... One egg, one teaspoon of dry mustard, one tablespoon of white wine vinegar, and a half teaspoon of salt. So, we'll take our little blender. There it is again. Isn't that a beauty? There's a death ray on it too, but you got to go online to get the app to make that run. Alright, there's that part. Now here's the tricky part, and the part that I can't show you because I've only got two hands. But you got to slowly start adding the canola oil, and I mean very slowly while you're blending it. So, I don't know, can I figure out a way to make this thing... Hang on. Alright, I haven't figured out a way to make the camera, or be able to show you with the camera how I'm doing this because I don't have three hands it's just not going to work so all I can say is once you've uh, mixed blended the egg and the tablespoon of white wine vinegar the teaspoon of dry mustard and the half teaspoon of salt together you just start slowly adding the canola oil the one cup of canola oil while you're blending and there it is again one cup there's the other things so I'm going to do that all right, so far I've slowly poured in about half the oil. You can see it's starting to set up. We got about a third of the cup of oil to go. And at this point, once it starts setting up like this, it's pretty safe to just dump the rest in and keep the blender going. All right, and there it is. See it's all set. Can't pull that out of there. I'll take my spatula and scrape all that off and scrape that back into there. That will keep a long time. The vinegar is like a preservative. And the last time I made mayo was like in early July, and I, I usually make it the days I bake bread, which is bread right there rising. And uh, I hadn't been baking bread all through July and up till about now because it was just too hot, so I was just using fajitas. And the last batch of mayo was sat in the refrigerator for a month, and I tasted it. It was fine. I'm not poisoned. I've been eating it all this past week. So that will keep for a while. And it actually tasted better after it sat in that refrigerator for a long time. Um, but that's it. That's all there is to it. And if you want to, uh, you know, if you think you want it sweeter, add a little sugar. If you want it, you know, more eggier, add some more egg. I don't know. You know, you got to play around. But it's a basic five-ingredient mayo. It's very delicious. I like it. So there it is. So thanks for not tuning in. From the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, burdened, shattered, cracked, empty, hopeless, and forlorn soul, piss off. Happy Friday. It happens to be Friday. And thanks for not tuning in.